Hi, I'm Rory from F Expansion, and today we're going to take a look at the BFD2 Kit Piece Inspector. The inspector allows you to make all sorts of changes to individual kit pieces and individual kit piece articulations. I'm going to take you through all of these parameters one by one. As you can see here, I've already got a kit loaded. If I make sure I'm in select mode and I select different kit pieces, you'll see that the inspector changes to display parameters relating to that kit piece. At the top of the inspector here, we can see a small graphic of our kit piece. We can see the five star rating, which you can change for whichever kit piece you currently have loaded. Just below that, we have a drop down menu that allows us to replace kit pieces. I've currently got my kick selected. So when I click on this drop down menu, I get a list of other kicks that are available for me to load. I can either choose one from here or I can use these left right arrows to choose different kicks. Below that we have another drop down menu that shows me kit piece presets. Now kit piece presets are presets for individual kit piece types. So as I've got my kick drum selected, I can have various kick drum presets and these reflect all the settings that have been made in the inspector. So if I choose low and dirty and hit my kick drum, I should get a low and dirty kick drum. If I choose stock, that resets it to the stock parameters. And you can hear it sounds very different there. And there's a few other presets for you to choose from. If we change to snare, you'll see that the list of presets has changed. Moving down, we have a trim parameter. Trim allows me to change the global volume of this kit piece that I have selected. And it also changes the volume of ambience channels. So it affects the entire kit piece and all its recordings. If I hit my snare drum, and pull the trim down, you can hear and see there that all the volumes have been lowered. The pan control works for direct channel only. It doesn't work for ambience mics. So I can pan my snare left or right. I have a mute and solo button. And finally, I have the flip ambience button. What this does is flip the stereo field of all the ambience channels for that kit piece. If you pan your direct channels to one side of the stereo field, you may want to try flipping the ambience channels for a more natural sound. Moving down, we have three send parameters. Each of these controls the amount of a particular ambience channel and where that signal is routed to. For example, I can pull out my snares overhead send, room send, and ambient send. So I'm, I've ended up with just a dry direct channel there. And you can vary the amounts to your taste. The other thing you can do here is route each of the three ambient signals to different channels in the mixer. So if I was to flip over to my mixer and create a new auxiliary channel and rename that ambiences, if I go back to my kit piece inspector, that auxiliary channel has appeared in the drop down menu for each of those three. And if I select those, the overhead room and ambience three send will all be routed to that auxiliary channel for the snare drum. Now this isn't possible in the real world, but we've included it because it opens up some real creative possibilities. Moving down, we have Damping. Now, damping simulates a damping ring or a blanket in the kick drum, for example, but it can be used on all kit pieces. It's great for tightening up a drum sound. 
Let's see how that works. If I trigger my snare and increase the damping amount, you can hear I've ended up with a much tighter snare. The damping frequency alters the crossover frequency at which the damping occurs. Frequencies below the setting have more damping applied than frequencies above. It's quite a subtle parameter, but useful to have. Over here we have tuning, which tunes the entire kit piece. and we have dynamics. Dynamics scales the incoming velocities up and down. It's a great control to tweak if you want your, say, snare to hit a little bit harder without actually changing your incoming MIDI velocities. If I play my groove and I decide that I want a softer snare in this groove, I can just pull the dynamics down You can hear the snare being hit softer. Alternatively, I can push it up to get a much louder snare. 